This spring has a temporary tap on it. And uh, it has a big puddle. And the big puddles attract things. Like, for instance, this big slug. Where does he go? Uh, where did he go? Oh, I'm too high. There he is down there. Big banana slug. This spring has a temporary tap. Uh, it was an old spring. And we're going to fix it right. But what you don't want to do is have these uh, puddles in there because they attract varmints. And uh, so eventually we'll close all this up. We don't like puddles in our springs because they attract things like, oh, this slug here, you see? Big slug, there was a dozen of them in here. Okay? So anyway, this is the way you don't want to do it, but this is a temporary thing. And we don't want to do it this way because it's hard to keep it sanitary. And also water can flow around you. It's like putting a dam in and water leaks through it. This is a uh, temporary tap on a spring. It was an old spring, a box spring. You can see some of the wood in there. But we're going to do my method, which is the better method. It's more sanitary, easy to do. You don't dam up the water so it doesn't leak around the dam. Uh, this way, open like this, you can get a lot of critters in there, uh, different bugs and things. So let's see, we have one big slug over here somewhere. Let's see if I can find him. He was right there. Where'd he go? Oh, well, there he is. It's a little hard to find, but there he is. Big old banana slug. There was a dozen of them in here. We're going to get these out of here and clean the spring out and see what I need to do to tap it. Anyway, here's what we'll be working today. Here we are developing a neighbor's spring. Uh, he had a spring in here, but it had a wooden box in it, and he was losing most of his water through the ground. So I said, I'll show you how to do it right. So we gathered some clay, and we gathered some rocks, and we took the wooden stuff out of there, and saw the water coming down out of some rocks back up here in this hole. So that is above where we're taking it out. The water's coming down there, and it's going into this uh, downspout screen. We're going to put a, a kitchen screen over that, and then we're going to fill it full of rocks. So notice the little dam behind here? It's got some rocks in that, so that's so in the winter time, when there's too much water, it'll come down and go over the top through the rocks and down out this way. So there's a two-inch pipe in there. It's got this down pipe, downspout screen, two-inch round, and we're going to put a six-inch stainless steel uh, kitchen screen where we take the handle off and turn it upside down. So right now, we're ready to get it rocked in. My rockers are waiting. I'll show you what we get after we get some rocks in there. We're going to basically fill up this cavity with rocks. Clear back into this hole. We want rocks back in this little hole. Stuff those with rocks. Keeps things from caving in. Keeps it sanitary. Okay, mosquitoes are getting me. They're in the process of uh, rocking in the spring. We put the uh, kitchen strainer on the top, turned over, and now we're uh, filling the uh, hole up with rocks. At least they are. Okay, Julian's uh, got the screen in upside down over the output. There's a little clay uh, bowl under there, and then he put rocks in. We don't like round rocks, we like to get these square ones. And we packed it all back in to where the water's coming out of the hill. Now we're going to finish putting rocks uh, up here. We want to fill that space in, and we want to bring our rocks down to the front of this dam. And then we'll cover it with plastic and dirt. And we'll get the rocks in today, and I'll show you. Okay. Here he comes out to get some more rock. We're stuffing it what? in there. <laughs> I'm busted. Okay. Okay, the guys have been rocking this in. They got it almost full of rock. You can see the rock slips in the back roof and comes down to in front of the dam. We are going to fill it into the left, that cavity there. Uh, just to get rid of the cavity, we're going to fill it up with rocks. And then we're going to put a piece of plastic over that and at least six inches of dirt on top of that. That may not happen today. We just want to get this rock in. So they're going to now fill up this cavity on the left just to get rid of it. All right, we're just about finished here. He's got some plastic in there, which you can still see part of it. And he's been putting dirt on it. He'll add dirt till it covers up all the plastic up on the edges and everything. And that's pretty much it. It's sealed with plastic and dirt. Got rocks under it. And it's uh, flowing just a little, but it's flowing. 
Just digging the outlet drainage ditch a little bit more so the pipe is uh, going downhill a little bit. We want a downhill slope on it. We've got a two inch pipe coming out of it. And he's gonna hook some more two inch pipe and run it on down over the hill. So that's his job. We're done with the spring for now.